I'll I do that. I wonder which one the downer is. Because I don't know. Because I think my choice is fun. I think yours is fun too. Mine. I think mine's more the downer. Okay. Oh, okay. Do you need me to start it or, or um? Oh fuck! I remember what you picked. Holy shit! Yeah, yours is the downer. <laughs> oh cool. <laughs> All right. So you want to do like an intro? If I get that out I'll... of Scott, that's not good. <laughs> I just remembered what, did... what you picked. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Scott's yours, like... <laughs> yours is like the, the feel-good movie of the summer. Hello, everyone. Hey. Scott is laughing maliciously because he knows what's coming. It's Violence Buffet. It's my choice. It's Vapey McScott. It's Vapey. Yeah. I'm trying not to smoke cigarettes. Is yeah, that, just, uh, is that smoking tobacco? A, or he's is smoking that... a straight D battery. <laughs> <laughs> is that no ganja? Is that there's ganja? No, no, but there's no tobacco in vapes. I'm sure uh, no, Mike no already wrote about that in his book of Nilton. Uh, yeah, the book of Nilton, a uh, Pulitzer Prize winning novel by me. It's about the life, hobby, art style. What's the fucking subtitle? Something about vaping. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read it. Way to know your own book. <laughs> I didn't read it because I wrote it. So I didn't... Goddamn right. <laughs> I can't Still say I've looking that for book it. more than any other book. Look. I got it right here. Yeah, check it out, everybody. The Book of Nilton, a totally not religious text on the hobby, art, sport, oh. and lifestyle of vaping by the great oh. Nilton Tennyson. I'm hoping that in my lifestyle, it helps extend my life a little bit longer. Not if you live by your parents' rules, like in this book. I might lose some digits. My parents are dead. I do what I want. Oh, oh okay. Oh, great. Right. <laughs> All right. Anyways. <laughs> Any who's. Thanks for uh, reminding me I'm an orphan. <laughs> Little orphan Scotty. <laughs> All right, so I'll, I'll just give a synopsis of the uh, the movie I chose is called. Uh, I think it actually says "Man Behind the Sun," but I think it's, I thought it was "The Men Behind the Sun." Man, just the oh, one man, man behind the sun. The other man, one's man. got fired. My mistake. So here's the synopsis: uh, Japanese troops round up Chinese and Russian prisoners of oh. war and take them to Unit Seven Thirty One, where they're horribly tortured and experimented on to test new biological weapons. This World sounds War like an excuse two. for someone to try out all their special effects no. ideas. Well, it's huh? men. It's definitely men. It's okay, men well, IMDb is right. man behind. No, okay, so yeah, you're, men. you're right, though. Yeah. Okay, well, IMDb messed up. Yeah. Way to go, IMDb. So, not but much yes. of an internet movie database after all. It is not. sometimes called Man Behind the Sun, and the literal meaning is Black Sun 731. Ah. Black Sun 731. <laughs> <laughs> Won't All right. you keep him? All right, I'm gonna it hit is, play. The first Girl. first one to be classified level three in Hong Kong, which, which is, is NC17. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Hmm. All right, boys, here we go. Enjoy. Enjoy. No look at him, Mike. This Maruta has been injected hey, with bubonic plague three times. Oh, fuck. <gasps> Ow. Oh, Kelly. I can talk over this thing because it's a little longer. She's sad because it, it took her pillow away. And I, I mean that. I mean that's a very valid reason to get sad, <laughs> especially if it was a my pillow. Oh no! That is not how you make gazpacho. Gazpacho's boiling. Here we're doing a cold injuries test. The Maruta's been at minus oh. thirty-five degrees for ten. We just got students. Yeah, learning yeah, a little. These are soldiers. It's fifteen degrees now. Talking cells, fair. That's probably cells. Oof. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> Man. How I like my ribs. Fall right off, off the, the bone. bone. Right off the bone, man. Let me tell you. Her knitting career is over. Oh, this guy gets to try it out too. What you're seeing now is a quick freezing experiment at minus 196 degrees. That's a lot. Oh, I mean, can't really. You wouldn't be able to part. feel it. So he's it would have been better if they made xylophone sounds. <laughs> I should have ended. We just blew up a big pile of hands. This movie's all about hands. Uh oh. Oh, no, not hands. the eye. Not the leg. Oh, man. This sucks. I'm taking his life for Brian. Ooh, a bum. Oh. I thought 
thought that was one of you making those sound effects. I did it was. Too. It was me. <laughs> oh no. I went what the fuck. Go ahead. There's some angles you probably missed out on. Yeah. Makes me want uh, ramen. Oh, shit. It's like alien autopsy. Of a person. Of a child. Bill, shut up. It looks like eggs, Bill. Are you excited? He's talking to his wife. Is Mike okay? Nope. Not especially. He's cursed you up and down four times. He, he threw up and passed out, but he's back. Oh, good. I'm glad. He recovers quickly. Eh. They tricked that kid into coming on the guys that he would get to play with the ball. Oh, yeah? I'm, well, yeah. did he get to play with the ball? Oh, shit. No. It's still pulsating. Robbing. That looks pretty real. It's yeah, pretty whip it against the whip it against the wall. Then they freeze it and smash it. It's like all the hands. About to make some smoothies. He's having a nice time singing this song. I love this song. Too. There you I'm go. pretty sure that I'm pretty sure the song was that was uh, the Distillers. Oh wow! I thought it so. Was what? It was the Distillers did the soundtrack. Oh, mm -hmm. good to know. <laughs> That's fun. it's that over, movie, everyone. That movie is uh, it's actually a, a good movie. I mean, in a, in a horrible, depressing sense. Yeah, the the director claims he was just trying to show the war atrocities, but everyone's like, "You went too far." Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like they do just going right. for shock value and he's like, No. Actually there was a scene that I left out because I wasn't sure if it was real or not. Um there's a point where these couple of the young guys they go exploring um without permission and they come across a room full of rats. Mm. Like thousands of rats. And Are they, they cute? No, they're yeah. start starving rats. Adorable. Um and they feed them. They're they're they like kind of had to like hide in there, they're fine, but uh, and then later on, they I think they're making an example or trying to like scare someone into making sure they follow their orders, and they throw a cat in there. Oh no! And from, I read it after the fact they because uh, they show you know the cat's in there, it's freaking out and struggling, and then it's bloody, and then it, you see so, it's getting eaten. But it was uh, from what they say, the director they, they just put it like a uh, honey or and like stage blood, so the rats were licking and not actually biting the cat. That's adorable. But I, right. I at the, he, he at the time, the cat, the cat was tired after participation and got two fish as a. Yeah, but I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, they may have actually killed the cats. So I'm not putting that in. Oh no. Yeah. They al he also claimed that that was an actual autopsy footage of, for the boy, which I don't believe because that's the it. worst autopsy ever. Yeah. It's like grabbing shit and throwing it in the bucket. <laughs> I mean, yeah, maybe. And if it's an autopsy, us. then why was the heart still beating? Come on, guys. Well, it was originally banned in Australia. Hmm. That's forget. It's, it's from uh, 88, so... Bad like, day, more, more shocking. The reason I, I even like know about this movie, uh, I rented it on a video in the 90s, because on the cover they had a picture of the woman whose hands were being yeah. uh, de skinned Peel. And I was like, that looks interesting. Huh. And then I was like, oh my god. Gotta go to Texas Roadhouse soon, man. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna rate this thing? Oh, yes. Let me, uh, I'm not prepared. I had to get the email up with the question. Be prepared. <laughs> be, 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 be. Oh, I am prepared. Email? Be I figured, prepared. wait, no. you don't have like a big board on your wall where you're tracking all this? Uh, yes. My son's always like, what is this? I'm like, oh, yeah, don't it's worry a dry erase it. board and he just, he, as soon as he finishes it, he just erases it every week. Just, then he has to remember. Like, daddy, 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 tits, bits, quits. Is that fruit? <laughs> <laughs> Those were the first words he knew how to write. <laughs> All right, so um, I guess we'll start. We'll go clockwise. So Kevin gets to go first. Kevin, how realistic do you feel? How realistic? So, yeah. I mean, some when of the stuff looked real. Um, I mean, it's from 88. 
I mean, that you can tell that the hands were fake, whatever, but I still think it was done well. Um, I mean, the autopsy, autopsy, autopsy stuff looked looked like real organs. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they were. Um, I don't know the story of the, of like of the movie, so I can't judge that. But I would say, I give it a for realism. I'd say give it an eight. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if there was much of a story. I think it was set around. Just the, just the horrors of just a collection what, of experiments. Yeah, you know, what Japan did during World War Two. Yeah. Mm. Um, Michael, come on, Michael. Yeah, I'm, I'm more or less in line with uh, my friend Kevin here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call it a seven. Um, there were a couple pieces that didn't look especially uh, believable, but I think for the most part, you know, the the crucified gentleman was pretty uh, upsetting. Um, you know, the the beating heart in the autopsy that was troublesome. I think, um, you know, I, I think they were aiming for realism, and I think they took it as far as their special effects budget would allow. I'm, uh, I'm partial to the intestines shitting out the asshole. So uh, mm-hmm. I would give this, I would give this an eight. I mean, I've already blocked that out of my mind, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, me too. I might try to yeah. do that after work tomorrow. I was like, oh, it's... no, yeah, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I mean, I don't know how much more realistic I'd want it. I'd be questioning things. So yeah, I'll give it, I'll give it an eight. Yeah. I'm going to have one of those pressure tanks installed in my home. <laughs> Just invite people over for cookout. They annoy you. Put them in the yeah. basement. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling I'll be the first one invited down there. So anyway. what do you think? Yeah. Uh, I'm going, uh, I'm going to go eight two. for the most part. I believe those things or something or things similar actually really happened. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From far worse. There was one thing that was, uh, I did not put in cause it wasn't terribly violent, but they, uh, had an experiment day. Uh, it was like a glass room, and all the important people were watching, and they uh, they gassed the mother and son to death. Oh, fun! Oh, so, you know, for for Christmas. Yeah. So that was that's not even that's not even funny violence. It's just kind of sad. Yeah, it's just a yeah. bummer. And there was also a burden there for some reason. More more intestines out the asshole. Yeah. My my that you just made me like draw the line in the sand and walk over it. There was a I bird. Yeah. God damn it. You know I my feeling bird. about birds. I hated them for years and now I love them. You get along days. with them now. They're yeah. Really fucking cute, man. Yes. I, oh, I, I follow actually, a couple birds on TikTok and they bring me a lot of joy. I actually don't like birds. Still. Well, I mean years. I don't I don't I don't hate them, but I just, you know, whatever. Birds schmerds. They wake mm-hmm. me up in the morning. All right, uh Kevin, how ridiculous. I mean, I don't think it's ridiculous. Um, uh, it's not very ridiculous at all. It's yeah. just depressing and you know over the top. Uh, not the mill. Eh, may, yeah. maybe a four. Okay. I mean, the right. peeling of the hands, maybe a four. Okay. Mike. Yeah, a lot of the hand stuff. Uh, is kind of the only thing that's really bumping up the score for me, uh, especially. Um, Because it is. It's just like they're just doing stuff. There's no fanfare to it. There's no fun special effects or crazy reaction shots. It's just these very clinical, basic things where, you know, a couple of the things, it's just like that's a ridiculous thing to decide to do to someone. But generally speaking, it's not, you know, it's not done for camp or for shock value. Um, So, yeah, Yeah. I, I call it a four as well. Okay. Uh, I believe everything in this movie happened at some point during World War II, so I'm going to give it a two. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. So, Th- thanks, Bill. <laughs> I'm going middle. I'm going to go five, <laughs> uh, just for the uh, even if it didn't happen, people, the fact that people thought to do these things, hmm. if it's all if any of it and all of it's based. And I can see a lot of this really happening too, but um, it just seems ridiculous that you know. Well, I'm, I'm thinking, I guess, from a logical standpoint, the woman who was out in the negative 35, she would have died long before they brought her in with her frozen hands, I think. Hmm. She was well, just... Human body is a lot more resilient than we think. Hmm. Apparently. Okay, but I give it a five. That's mine. Uh, next one, Kevin. Yes. How gratuitous. <laughs> I mean, I... <laughs> that's, all, that's all we saw was the violence. Uh, no. But how? Very? Very, Very gratuitous. Yeah, yeah. Really? Nine. <laughs> Nine for Kevin. 
Yeah, I go nine as well. It's just like these are just horrible atrocities <laughs> just on loop. There's just nothing, you know, fun or pleasant. It's just gratuitous uh, torture porn, except it yeah. happened. Yeah, I'm sure it all likely happened. Good job. This movie, this movie was made specifically to be gratuitous. Like, that's why it exists, right? Mm-hmm. Pretty much. You wanted to show the horrors in the most graphic way possible. So I'm going to give this the highest rating you can get because it set out to do that and did that. I'm going to give mm-hmm. it a 10. Ooh. Funny, I was like, I give it a seven and a half. Yeah. <laughs> highest score possible. I don't know how numbers work. <laughs> I'll give it a, a D. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I agree with, 10, yeah. yeah, I agree with Scott. I'm going the same way. Just because I think the uh, the attested one especially was You're not gonna I mean, go weird the, like you go seven five or something to fuck with me. Later. I'm saving it for later. Okay. Yeah. Saving gonna, it for, uh, you're, you're saving it for something right. fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so when, when Scott's like, you know, having fun, I'll make him mad. Okay. So I'm okay. going to on that. But yeah, I mean I think the, the the fact that the, uh, the it was like a very skinny man that went in that pressure chamber and like he was like basically like inflating and his his organs are just like blowing up and then I have nowhere mm. else to go so that yeah, especially that, that for me fucking sucks, I didn't know man. that part of it <laughs> yeah I didn't either I didn't I didn't know the science behind it it's a lot worse <laughs> now yeah. we, I, Mike, can we change the name of the show to, to bummer buffet because uh, <laughs> if Mike was alive during World War Two it would just be fucking sucks. Yeah. Now on, yeah. Again. For, now, for now on uh we should just do real stuff like documentary footage yeah oh. mm. just just what was... just to depress all of us scott that just reminded me what was, what was the uh what was the norm mcdonald quote about hitler about what Somebody, didn't norm mcdonald have a great quote about hitler he was just like oh well, that guy's a rascal <laughs> like, <laughs> like didn't seem to care much for the jews <laughs> yeah that sounds about right yeah. If he didn't okay. say that, he, he could have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he should have. Yeah, yeah. 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 Kevin. Yes. How creative or unique? Very. Yay. <laughs> um, I mean, creative in my eyes, because uh, I haven't really seen much of that before. At least not looking so real. Um, again, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm refusing to give it a ten. I'm going to give it a nine. Okay, fine. I refuse. Save your ten for trauma films. <laughs> yes, it's very realistic. Yeah, it, <laughs> as far as like ridiculous, yeah, it's all tens yeah. across the board. All right, Michael. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna say um a seven only because these weren't the filmmakers' ideas. They're just recreating other people's uh horrible murders, Please. but um. But still, like you know, to Kevin's point, like I was not aware that any of these were things that could potentially be done to human beings so like they're creative enough in that regard for me to bring it to a seven but knowing that it's just you know recreating really and the thing is shitty the, things the amount of like horror movies that i watch and i like i haven't seen some of this stuff you know before yeah. so that's why i'm like oh it's, it's uh, i'm surprised no one has gone for that again you know Never that being know. said, if you read my Pulitzer Prize winning book, The Book of Nilton, some of the torture sequences uh, are kind of in line with what's uh, shown in this feature film. Oh, kind of strange. Now. Don't forget the cash register game. I don't remember. Because, the book because, don't remember. Read the book to find out. Okay. Because this is mainly based on reality, or you know, at least close to things that happen, I don't know if giving a high score is rewarding <laughs> like the, <laughs> the lunatics that actually did this shit. But I mean, I'll give it a seven and feel a little guilty about it. <laughs> Makes you feel any better, Scott? I'm not guilty about giving it a nine. You can, uh, Scott. You can write a l- apology letters to the uh, victims of those fictitious people who died in the movie. That's a good idea. Thank you. No, yeah. no. I'm going to go write eight. a letter. Yeah. I'm going to go eight. <laughs> I'm going eight on that because yeah, it's stuff I have hadn't seen and haven't seen since. Hmm. In a lot of cases, so yeah. Yeah, so that's that's my store story. That's my store. E uh, <laughs> quality quality of the special effects, Kevin. Uh, I thought they were pretty uh, pretty realistic looking. Yeah. Um, I I mean, I don't think that those were fake organs. I think they were real organs. So it's not really special effects if it's real. Mm. Um, it's just a matter of filming it. 
Uh, they're practical effects. Yeah, very yeah, practical. Literally. Practical. Um, and like, I mean, like going back into the peeling of the hands, you know, you knew something was happening before it happened because um, she just had the weird little doll hands. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, but it's like, oh, whatever Sweet that. Uh, hands. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever that liquid was, it shrunk up her hands a little bit. Um, and even with the smashing of the hands, you know. Um, I'll give it a seven. No, no xylophone sounds. Yeah, that's true. You didn't hear him say my bowling hand. <laughs> oh, sorry, Kim. Would you say a seven? Yeah. Okay. I agree. I uh, I will also say a seven on that one. I think um, they uh, they got the job done. They weren't uh, <laughs> mission accomplished. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. employee of the month. Yep. Good for you guys. <laughs> Second place. I mean, if anything, they were they weren't actually over the top, which sounds ridiculous. But it, they were like it's like oh yeah, the body has that stuff. It wasn't like there was extra shit thrown in or like, yeah. like throwing it against the wall. Like or, five livers know. in that little kid. Like yeah. it wasn't like yeah. Like, okay. no, I, I think the goal was for it to react the way that it would have really right. happened. It, it's it like real. the guy, the guy hanging up wasn't like spurting blood or right. It was, just like there's disgusting. nothing wrong with that. That's it's what makes it wrong. fun. I prefer that, but uh, not in this movie. So yeah, I'll go seven. Yeah, sevens across the board. I'm a seven man too, Mimi. <laughs> um, so what, whoa, that is uh, easy math. I'm a so we are we done man. with uh, the questions? We are done with the questions. So Scott, I, I noticed you have on your Plex uh, Titty Cut Follies. Have you watched it? Oh yeah, a couple times. Okay. I was gonna say, like, maybe, maybe I'll try to pull some stuff from that for the next oh, episode. <laughs> oh God. Uh, oh. Maybe dark. not. I'll, I'll go through it and be like, yeah, probably not. Yeah, because it, it is you real. Got, you got to be careful with the nudity too. There's a lot of fucking yeah. nudity in that movie. There is. Yeah, be careful, Kevin. Whatever you said, it was okay. <laughs> I did. Then you yelled at me for it. It's fun to yell at you. Gone. I'm sorry. I'm responsible I, I... for a YouTube. Takedown. Yeah, we got it back though. Yeah, I, mean, I have to do the math in my head. My wife needed my phone, so I, I use the calculator on that usually. So, you guys share um, a phone? I was, I was going to no. say, uh, you know, it's computers have calculators, right? <laughs> yeah, but I'm not used to this laptop. Doesn't there, make there's sense. Probably a calculator button. Uh, can I just tell you guys what the numbers, and then you can tell me what the total is? No, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Let's just guess. I'm gonna say it's uh, 57. Let's see. No, way off. I know. Being a fucking asshole. I mean, I can do that if you need me to. Oh, one, it's a 133. 133. That's up there. It feels, feels low. Yeah, but... Because we all fucking feel low after watching that. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure the math is not even close to being correct, so it'll probably go up another 100 points by next week. Math no, it's a 133. That's accurate. Yeah. Good there it was. You. That's Thanks, that, Japan, everyone. for committing war crimes and ruining my Wednesday night. Behind the sun. And there's sequels to this, by the way, as well. There's three, oh. see, there's three sequels. Laboratory of the Devil, Narrow Escape, which I'm going to guess they don't escape, and that Black works. Sun, The Nanking Massacre, which sounds delightful. Hmm. Hmm. And actually, as of this recording, I was on YouTube where I found it. So, YouTube, isn't that the popular uh, video site on the internet? It's it's they're doing okay. So I can watch that movie between motorcycle videos and podcasts and yes. good mythical morning. You can uh watch that video and then have a sudden commercial for Cialis come up. Yeah. For five, and then skip it after five seconds. <laughs> they're getting smart. So, yeah. They're yeah. making it so I don't like know. That well, yeah, because I guarantee I'm going to get diagnosed with ulcerative colitis very soon because those are all the commercials I'm seeing right now. It's hearing your body. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's I'm a gonna that's a going to get some UC shortly, guys. Downer way to end on a downer episode. Yeah, yeah. Way to go. And, and Scott's upset. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi, Thanks, I'm, a, uh, I'm a cry, Scott. Boo, 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 who? Boo, 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 who? Thank or you to the American allergies. pharmaceutical industry <laughs> and the <laughs> Japanese <laughs> war criminals. That's it. There's the horse. There. 
Hey. Hey. War crimes. Horse crimes. Okay. Did we do it? We did it. We did it, guys. Yay. Congratulations. But I, I didn't see eating or kissing. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck. Nate, we're right. Nope. Too late. Uh, <laughs> also, um, we haven't been clapping either. That's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs>